When a plane crash happens, investigators use every possible tool available to find out what went wrong. Two of the most crucial are the flight data recorder and the cockpit voice recorder. Today we call these things almost universally black boxes, and of course they're not black at all. Uh, most of them are painted international orange. The reason that they're called black boxes is when these things were developed in the 1950s, just about any sort of complex electronic system in an aircraft, or really anywhere for that matter, was called a black box. So everything was a black box. While the earliest devices recorded just the most basic flight data like altitude and heading on spools of wire or magnetic tape, Today's black boxes are as complex as the aircraft they're flying on. They're capturing every wing movement, every engine setting, every cockpit conversation, and all of it on microchip. And it doesn't really matter if the box survives. As long as this chip uh, survives intact, you can pull the information off. Making sure of that is up to black box manufacturers like L3 Communications. They put the devices through tests that mimic the sequence of events in a crash, from the first high velocity impact to the twisted wreckage afterwards. There's a high temperature fire, which uh, you burn the equipment for an hour at 1100 degrees Celsius. That simulates the first hot burn when there's a lot of fuel. That's followed by a 10 hour smoldering fire, a 30 day immersion in seawater, 24 hours of 20,000 feet of atmospheric pressure, and finally getting dunked into every kind of airline fluid imaginable that a box may come into contact with during a crash. Constructed out of aluminum or composite materials, the black box casing itself doesn't usually survive these tests, but the information inside almost always does. Since we've gone to solid state, I'm not aware of our not being able to recover the data once the recorder was found. And I don't know of any of our recorders that weren't found except for one of the recorders that went into the Trade Center. You know, they just didn't find anything. It's, it's our belief that most of that plane vaporized. After an accident, airline investigators used the stored data to get a clearer picture on what caused it, and whether it was a structural problem, a pilot error, or something else. So these are the kind of puzzle pieces that are brought in uh, by these devices. But the black box alone can't solve the case. It gives you somebody to put it up on the wanted poster, but it doesn't solve the crime. And, they, and that's really what these flight data recorders, cockpit voice recorders do in the aviation environment. They, they give you kind of a picture of, of what happened. They don't tell you why. And it's, it's the why process that still has to be sorted out uh, by these aviation detectives. Once that's determined, all the crucial data that helped investigators solve the case then becomes an important teaching tool for pilots and other airline personnel. Connor said the future of the black box could be a combination of these traditional recorders and new systems where in-flight data is transmitted over satellites, something that airlines are already using on a limited scale. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas.